welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about the winter jackets. If you didn't know, I live in Toronto, Canada, and it is one of the worst places to be in during the winter time. We've got temperatures going down to the negative 30s or sometimes even negative 40 degrees Celsius. We don't really care about how we look when we go out because keeping ourselves warm is the top priority. Otherwise, you're going to die. Today, I want to show you some winter jacket and coat options, which I think are suitable for the Canadian winter. They are ordered from the least warm to the most warm. In my opinion, they all look extremely good, so you don't want to miss out. So the first jacket I recommend is this one over here, which is got which I got from Banana Republic this year actually. So it has some uh, leather details all around. The overall uh, material is like the teddy kind of fur coat texture. I don't normally have a lot of short coats because back when I was a commuter, I like to have things longer. So at least part of my legs would be kept warm and then I would have um, hot, slightly higher boots to protect my legs. This is one of the trendier pieces I own because it's got these leather detailings and the teddy coat material. Um, it's really cute. It looks good with a skirt and in my boots, which I tried on in my previous video and pair it with jeans. It will also look really nice. Here is the second coat. This is the best decision I've ever made. Honestly, it's like my most favorite coat ever. It's something that I have always wanted because it is like this dark camel color. It's oversized and it goes all the way past the knees. I love the feel of this. It looks so carefree and so cool. I love that um, there is a drop shoulder uh, detailing to this. It has this bubble sleeve detailing over here. It's not a completely straight sleeve on both sides and there's only one button over here. I'm not, I don't really care about that because I just typically I just like to wrap my coat around like this. The only thing I have to warn you about this coat is that it is very oversized. I got the small size online and then when I when I tried it on at home it was way too big and I got the extra small it came recently and even the extra small is pretty oversized so try to size down when you get this jacket this one comes in several colors there's a light gray there's a dark gray there is a um, cream color I believe but I will put the link down below and you can go check it out and it's just so nice I like how it goes past my knee almost to my ankle so then even if I wore a skirt or if I wear just jeans I won't be cold if you are a commuter then this coat will be really good because it will keep the lower part of your legs warm since this coat is oversized you can wear thick um, sweaters on the inside without looking overly bulky and without feeling like you can't move your arms around. The next jacket down in warmth is my old Canada Goose jacket, which holds a special place in my heart because I had this for seven years, I think. I got it in first year university. Actually, my mom got it for me because I was, like I said, I was a commuter. I had to take a bus. I had to take uh, like a 30 minute bus ride to the subway station every day. And then I had to take another like an hour, um, an hour subway, subway ride to my school. I, I went to the University of Toronto and if you've been to the downtown campus, you'll know that the campus is massive. It spans across so many roads and so many streets downtown. It's like literally like the Vatican City of Toronto. So because I had to go on my feet all the time and winter was brutal, so my mom got me a Canada Goose. So this one was the Kensington model, I believe. Um, they discontinued it or it was one of the longer options they had. 
and I liked how it didn't look bulky, it was more fitted, um, and as a result of it looking less bulky, uh, temperature tolerance of this jacket is lower than some of the other pieces like the Trillium. I have pockets over here which have the felt lining and it also has pockets over here and I think my hood and, and there's also lining inside the hood. The hood is very big. It reaches my knees so this part of my leg was protected. And on the bottom, I would wear longer boots. So after my fourth year of wearing this, I could see that the jacket was becoming old because it is black and some parts of the seams are faded, have faded in colors. So I mean, worn for so long, it was so warm, I could literally go out in this with a t-shirt on the inside and it kept me warm. But now it doesn't do that anymore because I think when they dry clean, so I think the chemicals are kind of killing the warmth a little bit, I'm not too sure. But over time, I do feel that this became less and less warm. The only annoying thing was probably the, um, the buttons at the back. I always keep them unbuttoned because when I'm when I sit down I could at least split them so that I don't sit on the buttons I, and hurt my hurt my bum. I really wore it five years straight every single day during the winter time and for it to still be like this without any rips any major rips it's very nice quality. The next jacket I want to show you is this puffer jacket over here from Aritzia. I guess it's one of the ancestors of the Super Puff series that Aritzia is really um, known for these days. It, I got it as a gift because my Canada Goose was starting to look really uh, dated and old and it wasn't keeping me warm anymore. So I got this one and I really like it a lot. The warmth of this is the same as this jacket here when I just got it. So after two years, it still has its puffiness. If you want to invest in a warm and reasonably priced jacket, I think you can go on the Aritzia website to look at their Super Puff series. Every single year they come out with better designs and more colors and this year they came out with the glossy finish, the matte finish, um, the metallic finish. So many finishes for the same kind of concept and I love it. They, they got them in the short style, in the medium style, in the longer style. There are so many great options and all of them are truly wonderful options to keep yourself warm during the winter time. This one is going to retire and this one, although it's warm, it's it doesn't have a hood. So I got this one here, which is my ultimate go-to for the coldest winter days in Toronto. Um, what I'm learning from the first jacket, I decided to get a gray one so that the wear and tear is not as obvious. That one faded, but that one some parts faded into gray and maybe even white, but if this one were to fade in color, you wouldn't really be able to tell. Um, and I was, and this time I didn't go for the more stylish and slim fits anymore. This time I got the their most classic style, which is the Trillium Parka. Honestly, when I wear this jacket, I sweat to death. Huge pockets, two huge pockets on the front, and then there's also uh, these blue pockets over here. I like the utilitarian and casual fit of this jacket. And then there's a logo here, obviously, and then the back, that's how it looks. And this one, it's actually Oh, I just realized it's actually almost the same length as my Kensington. So in terms of length, it's completely helped to replace that and warmth as well. It's much warmer um, on the Canada Goose scale level. I mentioned before that the Kensington can go down to like negative 20 degrees or something. And this one can go down to even lower, maybe negative 25 or 30. 
and I like how the hoodie, how the hood is so big, I can literally sink my whole head into it and disappear from a crowd. It's so fun. Thanks so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.